Peter Skeen Ogden. Peter Skeen Ogden, alternately Skeen, Skeen or Skeen, baptized February 12, 1790, September 27, 1854, was a fur trader and a Canadian explorer of what is now British Columbia and the American West. Ogden was a son of Chief Justice Isaac Ogden of Quebec and his wife Sarah Hansen. The family was descended from a 17th-century British emigrant to the American colonies, Long Island and New Jersey. Both Isaac and his father David were loyalists during the American Revolution. Isaac relocated to England at this time, then later returned to British-run Quebec. One of Ogden's brothers, Charles Richard Ogden was a lawyer, politician, and public servant from Canada East. Ogden married Julia Rivet slash Rayava, a Matisse slash Nez Perce, sometimes known as Flathead or other Salish. During his many expeditions, he explored parts of Oregon, Washington, Nevada, California, Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. Despite early confrontations with the Hudson's Bay Company HBC, during his time with the Northwest Company, he later became a senior official in the operations of the HBC's Columbia Department, serving as manager of Fort Simpson and similar posts. Professional life After a brief time with the American Fur Company, he joined the Northwest Company in 1809. His first post was at Ile La Crosse, Saskatchewan, Canada, in 1810, and by 1814 was in charge of a post at Green Lake, Saskatchewan, 100 miles, 160 kilometers, south. Ogden had frequent run-ins with the rival HBC employees and engaged in physical violence on several occasions. In 1816, HBC clerks reported that Ogden killed an Indian who had traded with the Hudson's Bay Company. The Indian was butchered in a most cruel manner, according to HBC officer James Bird. Although many in the Northwest Company viewed this as a necessary part of living in the Northwest, the HBC viewed Ogden as a dangerous man whose actions were deplorable, especially considering his background as the son of a judge. Ogden was charged with murder, and the Northwest Company moved him further west to attempt to avoid any further confrontations with the HBC. He served at different posts in modern-day Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia for the next several years. As a way of ending the ongoing strife between the two companies, the HBC and the Northwest Company merged in 1821. Ogden's violent history placed the now larger HBC in a quandary. Some in the company management severely disliked and distrusted Ogden, but newly appointed Governor George Simpson pushed for his reinstatement, arguing that he had done no more than many others during the fur trade wars. Ogden was admitted to the reconfigured HBC with the rank of chief trader in 1823, and put in charge of Spokane House. In November 1824 he was put in charge of the Snake River country of the HBC's Columbia Department expedition. Between 1824 and 1830, Ogden led a series of expeditions to explore and trap in the Snake River country. One of the company's objectives was to bring as many furs from this area as possible to the HBC so as to create a fur desert. This would discourage inroads by American trappers and traders. The exploration trips included. Jedediah Strong Smith, an American fur trapper and explorer, was the first American to cross the Great Basin in 1827. He traversed the basin west to east from the Sierra Nevada near Abbott's Pass. Smith, however, missed Humboldt Lake and the Humboldt River and nearly died for lack of food and water. Ogden's easier route following the river later became part of the California Trail. In 1830, Ogden was sent north to establish a new HBC post named Fort Simpson near the mouth of the Nas River in British Columbia. He also managed an outpost on the south coast of Alaska. In 1834 he was promoted to Chief Factor, HBC's highest field rank. He administered Fort Vancouver in the late 1840s. There Ogden fought successfully against American fur competition and successfully negotiated with local native tribes, including the Cayuse. In 1847, Ogden averted an Indian war and successfully negotiated for the lives of 49 settlers taken as slaves by the Cayuse and Umatilla Indians after the Whitman Massacre. Retirement and Death Ogden retired to Oregon City, Oregon, with one of his several Native American wives. His contact with Native tribes led him to write a memoir, Traits of American Indian Life and Character, dot by a fur trader. The book was published posthumously in 1855. He died in 1854 and is buried at the Mountain View Cemetery in Oregon City, Clackamas County, Oregon. Legacy Places named for Peter Skeen Ogden include, 